Y'all take a couple deep breaths with me. Welcome back, tribe, to the Oasis. Let's build. There is no right way to meditate. Too often, there's these gurus and these people that have a lot more experience meditating that just share their perspective on what right meditation is. See, there's just different forms of meditation. And this concept of meditating wrong tends to deter people from actually sitting down or meditating however they see fit. You see, meditation is just to be in a state of contemplating your thoughts. So you could be meditating while you're walking. You can sit down like this and meditate. This tends to be the promoted way of meditating, if you will. You can lay down on your back with your hands up and meditate. You can just be still and watch nature, which is, in my opinion, in my experience, one of the most powerful forms of meditation. But I wouldn't go as far as to tell somebody that you're meditating wrong. Because it's just contemplating your thoughts. See, I med started meditating maybe three or four years ago, but I've been doing it maybe for a year now on a consistent basis. And I learned this or the power of meditation by watching Kobe. It's something that Phil Jackson, the Lakers coach, as well as the Bulls coach for Jordan's championship teams, practiced mindfulness, which is another, which is another way of saying meditation. Just being mindful, being present in the moment, and understanding what you're thinking about, not rejecting those thoughts but you could also meditate on certain understandings that you have as well, which is really dope. You can meditate on a place that you wanna be in and you can visualize yourself being there. You can invoke the feeling of being there. You can smell the flowers of being somewhere. You can hear the ocean you can feel the saying. You can put yourself in a position where you keep looking at your bank account and now you have $20,000 in it. At first, in my experience, I had to get rid of the negative aspects that were creeping in or the negative thoughts that were creeping in, the limited thoughts that were creeping in. But you see, your mind is unlimited. So once you're operating from an infinite aspect, you see things through a different lens. There is no scarcity that exists when you're operating in this mindset. It's only abundance. And even if something happens to you that's not a favorable situation, you still seek the positive in that situation. You still have an abundant mindset to where you can learn something rather than soak in the undesired situation that you're experiencing. You see, and there's something about looking at nature that we can learn so much from. Living in Atlanta for almost a year I ran into my man's Mo, and Mo put me on to a different type of meditation. He went on this retreat and he said it was the most powerful form of meditation that he had come in contact with. Shout out to Mo. And if everything is connected and we're a reflection of nature, 
than observing nature and how the trees grow. Observing nature in how everything operates in its natural state with a purpose. You can learn so much from this because we are a reflection of nature. So I, I spoke on this in my last video about what we can learn from a butterfly. You watch the butterfly go into the cocoon, but you don't see it working. And in that little pocket, it's working, it's working. And then it just comes out as a butterfly with wings. But before you only saw a caterpillar. And as you're working on yourself and you're mastering yourself, this is a beautiful example of how you shed layers and you evolve to become unnoticeable. Too often we make decisions based off of the norms of society or whoever's in our circle in order to continue to please them because we have a scarcity mindset and we're nervous about whether they disagree with us, now you may lose them. But when you're operating from an abundance mindset, those are things that you don't care about because things happen as they should. And if this person is not gonna accept you in the evolved state, then that's not what's the best for you. Then they can kick rocks. So when you're meditating, however you choose to meditate, I've found the most powerful form of meditation in observing nature, listening to the wind, going out and sitting in the rain. They help you understand different layers of yourself. The dark side, the light side. You see, we try to act like we don't have a dark side, but the most wicked shit that we see other people do, as a human, you're capable of the same thing. That's the reality. And Jordan Peterson gives a great explanation or a great analysis on that perspective. When I meditate, my objective is to clear my mind at times. At other times, my objective is to visualize myself in a position that I'm seeking to be in. At other times, I'll walk and I'll just ask myself questions. And then I'll be in silent and wait for the answer. You see, the source of everything, otherwise known as God, is something that we connect through ourselves. It's not something that exists outside of yourself. It's something that you can only find within. And that's why a lot of people are lost in today's society because they're looking for something outside of themselves. You've been duped, my friends. Newsflash, you have been duped. This is the biggest lie in history. You have control over your reality. You are the God of your world and you come from the ultimate source. So understand that and take control of your reality. But meditation allows you to be silent and receive the answers that you ask for. A lot of the time we'll ask for answers or we'll ask a question and then we go on about our day. The real power is after you ask that specific question, you sit in silence and allow yourself to connect to the source. And that's where the answers come from. So don't be intimidated by meditating. There is no right way to meditate. Start where you are. Meditate on scripture if that's what makes you happy. Meditate on a, a book that you've read that you feel like puts you in a positive state of mind, a productive state of mind. 
Meditate on whatever you want to meditate on. And don't let anybody tell you that you're doing it wrong. Be confident in your ability to figure things out based off of your experience. Stay blessed.